Marika Leting is one lizard lady. Living out here on Kaitareti Spit, south of Christchurch, she lives, breathes and studies lizards. Let's find out what's so alluring about our geckos and skinks and how we can help them in our own backyards. We'll just have a wee lot what we've got today. <gasps> oh, there's heaps! That, that's a nice one there, we'll grab him. And this fellow hasn't got his tail. You've got one here, this one here has, has got a full tail, that one doesn't. So he's had an encounter with some sort of predator that's tried to eat him and he's dropped his tail. So tell me about the lizard you've got there. Okay, so this is a Canterbury gecko with, oh, he's, they, they jump, they yeah. do that. <laughs> uh, and this one's actually, it is fully grown, but they are quite, these are quite little animals. On, uh, this particular species is quite little, especially in this area. And they might take, you know, four to six years to reach this kind of size. They have about two babies a year, they're nocturnal. All our lizards in New Zealand, except one species, they give birth to live young. They don't have eggs like reptiles would in the tropics, and they think that's an adaptation to a sort of a colder climate. I still have these beautiful shrublands here, but a lot of people clear them from their sections. They look at them and they think, ugly grey scrub, yuck, don't want that. So if you take those away, take the habitat, so go the lizards. Even though our geckos and skinks are relatively tiny, they can actually live to a ripe old age. And in fact, the oldest recorded one was an Auckland gecko that lived to 45. Lizards really like canned pear. You can bait these traps and put this in there because they like eating it. And um, we'll actually, oh, we've even got someone in there. I saw something so wriggling. We'll look. Oh, we've got, so we've got two geckos in there and we've got a gecko skin. Oh, wow. So we'll have a look at those. Um, these geckos um, normally live in the, in the pingao. Um, this is a, a, it's actually a fully grown adult. They're quite, they're quite small in this place. And you can see it's also got a regrown tail. So it's, it's, at some oh, stage it's lost its tail. And it's a male, and you know that, um, because see there's this bulge at the base of his tail. And you can see he's got these um, quite good climbing feet. They're actually quite um, tricky. Sometimes they can climb out of pitfall traps as well, because, because they've got such feet. good sticky feet. They're like Spider-Man, aren't they? They are. Geckos slough their skin a couple of times a year, and you can see he's got quite good detail. Most of it's in one piece. Um, I call these, I actually call them gecko ghosts. They actually have permanently closed eyelids, and so they're actually seeing through a see-through eye membrane. And so to clean their eyes, they have to, they can lick that where skinks can actually blink. There are more species of lizards than there are of birds. And in fact, we had a giant gecko that grew two feet long mm. and uh, was as thick as a man's arm, apparently, and last seen in 1870. So sadly, that one has gone by the by, but good to see we've still got these ones around. It is. 